Hello fellow chart watchers. Today I'm going to show you how you can add overlays, things like moving averages and Bollinger Bands, to your chart's volume bars. Adding overlays to price bars is easy. Just select the overlay you want from any of the overlay dropdowns and click Update. But how do we tell Sharp Charts that we want the overlay to appear on top of the volume bars? The answer relies on the fact that there are actually two ways to add volume bars to your chart. The quick simple way and the harder but more powerful way. The quick simple way uses the volume drop down in the chart attributes area. That drop down has three settings, overlay, separate, and off. With the overlay setting, the volume bars appear at the bottom of the price panel. With the separate setting, the volume bars appear in their own panel just below the price plot. Both of those settings are fine, but in this video, I'm going to show you that the best setting for this volume dropdown is off. By turning volume off in the chart attributes area, it gives us room to turn volume back on using this second method, by using the volume indicator. It turns out that volume is one of the choices in the indicator dropdowns. So is price, by the way. By adding volume to our chart using the volume indicator, we gain access to all of the advanced option features that all indicators have, including, you guessed it, overlays. As you can see, we have a bunch of indicator overlays to choose from here. Let's start with the 50-day EMA. EMAs work well with volume because they react quickly to the spikiness of volume data. Okay, that looks good. But what if we wanted to get a sense of the volume bar's volatility? Bollinger Bands are great for that, and we can add those also. Now, what if we want to take the guesswork out of determining the value of the chart's significant volume spikes? Price labels to the rescue. Finally, don't forget that you can also change the location of the volume bars by using the position dropdown. So there you go. By using the volume indicator instead of the volume dropdown, you can create charts that are even more powerful. Charts that can help you make better investing decisions. Thanks for watching.